for millions of East Coast beachgoers like these at Rockaway Beach on the edge of New York City. This is as close as they're going to get to the water this weekend. You know about the no swimming today, right? Swimming banned at beaches along much of the East Coast due to Hurricane Bill's might. We're all just, uh, you know, biting our bottom lips and hoping it goes away. Waves as high as 14 feet are expected along the Carolina coast, as high as 23 feet off Massachusetts. And all over the eastern seaboard, warnings of rip currents, the biggest danger to swimmers, killing nearly 100 people every year and forcing 20,000 rescues. One reason that these rip currents and, and the wave action is going to be so extreme along the east coast is because of how strong the hurricane has been the last couple of days. A hurricane over water generates powerful waves that help form rip currents, narrow, fast moving channels of water that flow away from the shore and pull swimmers out to sea. They usually develop at low spots like sandbars. If caught in one, it's best to swim parallel to the shore out of the narrow current. Try to swim directly toward land and it's a losing battle. The biggest mistake people make is when they try to swim back in. The hurricane isn't expected to directly hit the U.S. but is menacing Bermuda. It has has been downgraded from a Category 4 to a Category 2 with winds at 105 miles per hour. However, the threat from rip currents will intensify from Florida to Maine this weekend. Just because the hurricane is weakened to a Category 2 now uh, does not mean that all of that wave energy that was produced when Bill was a Category 4 nearly 48 hours ago is just going to go away. Besides inconveniencing millions of beachgoers this weekend, Bill's likely to be costly. Estimates are he'll cause millions of dollars in erosion damage all along the coast. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, New York.